Back in a time when your internet browsing session could be ruined by someone picking up the phone, the, the gateway a to a worldwide web full of awkward Thankfully, MySpace accounts and personal websites under construction was Microsoft Internet Explorer. Hadi Bartovi is one of the fathers of the storied software first released in 1995. At the time when I was leading the project, I remember thinking this is something that could last forever. But alas, it did not. The official end of its life, June 15th, 2022. Microsoft saying in a blog post, it will no longer support IE. After 20 years of being a laughingstock, uh, it's now just sort of being put out of its misery. After defeating Netscape Navigator to win the browser wars of the late 90s, Partovi says Microsoft neglected Explorer, letting it fall into disrepair. It went from being one of the best web browsers to being a hated name. You may remember this animation spinning and spinning as your web page loaded or just never did. I was totally clunky. I mean, the internet was clunky though. In 1998, the Justice Department filed an antitrust suit against Microsoft, describing the bundling of Internet Explorer in Windows 95 as an illegal tie-in. Uh, the next sentence reads, the latest uh, confirmed killer app is the web browser. Do you recall writing that, sir? No. This became this collision about monopoly power and the influence of these larger tech giants on the development of our communications. Internet Explorer's dominance gradually faded until Google's Chrome browser became king. Chrome on my desktop and Safari on my phone. A day to mourn the internet of the past, and as this gravestone posted to a Korean message board says, a moment to honor a browser whose main use ended up being to download other browsers. Dan Spector, Global News, Montreal.